The Newport Tree Conservancy is offering a trio of plants to help you bring monarch butterflies to your own backyard. The first pollinizer plant is the milkweed. The monarch butterfly lays its eggs, the caterpillar is born, and it eats the milkweed. The caterpillar grows and forms a chrysalis. The monarch butterfly forms inside of the chrysalis, and when it's time, it emerges. The butterfly flies to various pollinizer plants to get energy from the nectar. The butterfly is gathering its energy for the end of the season when it needs to fly south. When the time comes, the butterflies flock south to Mexico and other places, and then the process starts all over again. So what we have here are three plants which uh, are all pollinizers. A pollinizer attracts pollinators. So these three plants were chosen um, because they're uh, really not just specific to the monarch butterfly, but certainly uh, a favorite. And this first one is um, milkweed. And uh, the milkweed is not just a favorite, but an absolute must because this is the only species that a monarch will lay her eggs on. It's the only species that uh, a monarch larva will eat. So they must have the milkweed. So this middle plant is the New York ironweed, and it's just an awesome, tall, uh, dark purple uh, blossom plant that is uh, a popular nectar plant for the monarch and many other species and as a nectar it's it's essentially food uh, for the monarchs and any other pollinators that will be utilizing it. Right and the last plant we have here is goldenrod fireworks and the name uh, is talking about the the arching shape of the golden blooms in the, in, in the end of the uh, season so this would be August September very important nectar plant for the monarch as it heads south. So our trio of plants will be available individually or uh, as a set of three and we hope you'll buy some of the plants and plant them for the monarchs and help support the Newport Tree Conservancy.